Oh my God, it's been, it's like, I feel like I can get to break last few weeks. It's like pull a quad, my shoulder, now ankle. Hello, it's, what time is it now? 2.30 p.m. on a beautiful Monday. I'm working out here in the gym by myself because I couldn't coordinate today with my trainer to meet in the gym because between my work and the lessons and practices, it's hard to do all the scheduling. Um, so he wrote the plan for me, what I'm gonna do today, it's mostly arms. I don't even know if I'll have time to finish the whole workout because I have a lesson soon. So I might have to do a little bit now and a little bit later. Practice this morning for almost three hours. And it felt really good, like I wasn't out of breath. last night I feel like I never really finished recording today um, because oh my god it's been such a long day that I don't even know where I'm at anymore or what's going on but I know that I am home right now because I have to finish the I have to finish payroll that I should have done yesterday. I don't think I'll be able to finish it now because I'm really tired and at night my brain is not functioning and it's like 9.40 p.m. So I'm really, really struggling right now. So, um, yeah, I can't, I can't function at night. And if I try to do something productive, it's like I fall asleep. But I'm going to try to finish as much as I can and then go shower. Um, it was a very good day overall, I think. It's been a little difficult um, when it comes to getting used to the new like life schedule with all the practices, with all the training, with lessons, with work, with uh, kids, time sharing and everything. It's a big transition for everybody. Um, so I'm just trying to make the most out of it and taking it one day at a time, one step at a time. But I feel like in a bigger picture, things are coming together. Even if it doesn't seem like they are maybe at the moment, but they really are. Um, so I just gotta stay patient with everything and, and take it one day at a time. Tomorrow morning I have to get up early because I have lessons from 7 to 9. Then I have to drive and train at 9.30. Then I have some lawyer meetings and to figure out all the fun stuff. And I was talking to a friend tonight. I feel like I'm like scheduling my days like back to back in a minute, like too close everything. And it's not healthy. I need to like have some gaps, but then I feel like I also can't get a lot done that way. But I spoke about, you know, like I'm doing so much better with like the guilt part and the overwhelm part. So I'm really, I think I'm really doing a good job of like not getting overwhelmed. Yeah, I have so many things right now on my to-do list. Like so many, I'm looking at the fridge right now. I, oh my God, I have to go to at and car insurance, finish this test, to figure out these credit cards. I have to, oh my God. I completely forgot about this. That's why I put it in the big fridge. 
Right now, my priority is my sleep. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get as much sleep as I can and then go from there. Good morning and happy Tuesday. Um, it's Tuesday, May 9th. Uh, it's 7 a.m. I have two lessons now here. Um, really beautiful day here. It feels so nice. Um, I just, I just heard from one of my friends that I used to play with in juniors and how I've inspired her to, to go for her dreams, to start, to start back in her career and to do something that she actually loves. So that really made me happy um, because ultimately, I mean, I am doing this for myself and for, because I want to, and this is my dream, but ultimately it's the reason to inspire others to see that it's possible to do, that it's possible to do it. It's not easy, nothing is easy, but it's so worth it, it really is. Um, so the lesson of the day is to go for it, to have the courage to Go for your dreams and not to listen what anybody says just listen to your gut uh, do what makes you happy but it's important to discover that first because i did a lot of work with my life coach with some therapists and i still am doing a lot of work on myself on a daily basis but Throughout that work, I realized that this is my dream and I haven't had the courage to say it in a long time. I've been suppressing it and, and now it feels really good to do it. <laughs> Checking in, it's still Tuesday. I feel like it's like Thursday, I don't even know. Feel good and tired at the same time. Apparently I played really well today according to my coach. Uh, my movement was better. I mean, that's like honestly the biggest thing in my game is my movement. Um, if I get to the ball, it's great. He told me, you know, I really have to work on my defense a lot and hit higher when I'm on defense. Um, the problem is that I've been, I don't know. I've, I haven't been getting there with my feet. Though, so then I just like tried to figure out whatever. But now we really, like he really pushed me today. I was sitting with uh, one guy um, and he was moving me around and I was just sitting deep through the middle trying to deep and high so it was good it was really good um i felt a little bit heavy today but not too bad um and then i uh, worked on my serve a little bit working on like extending this left arm up and kind of having a straight line not falling forward too soon and hitting the ball up go up on it more so that was really good two and also the grip on my second serve so i usually change it i go from um like continental grip to a little bit like on the side i don't know i've always done it and nobody ever corrected me i don't know and today he told me that i have to use continental grip on everything and it kind of felt good felt really weird I'm not going to lie but it did feel good I mean I didn't miss any so that's a good sign I guess what else um, still working on that forehand working on that spacing played some cross court points where you hit like you have to make three cross courts and after that one person one player can switch down the line but the point it starts immediately so even if you miss the first ball or second ball in the cross court the point is still um, you lose the point 
um, and then the one person that changes down the line after that it's completely open but until then the other person has to just stay cross court the whole time um, did some of those it was good and then finished up with some drills and working on that like high heavy forehand cross court but then switching down the line flat I'm still struggling to like to go from that to like switch down the line like it, it flies out a little bit but it was good it was good overall I ran some errands now um, and went to Publix and now I have to go to run more errands go home eat lunch I have this amazing pasta right here I'm going to eat one of my friends <laughs> gave it to me this morning for lunch, so I'm gonna have that for lunch. It looks really good, so I'm excited to have it. Um, I'm gonna try to squeeze in a power nap, but I don't think I'll be able to. I really feel like I need to rest and listen to my body a little bit because later I have to work two more hours and then I'm playing a set with Bart he's one of the guys that works with me he's a lefty he's a good player so that would be a good set for me and I'm actually going to record that as well for uh, for the YouTube and uh, then I have dinner with my friend tonight yeah it's a full day uh, we're sharing we're time sharing the kids right now so I didn't have them yesterday and today, but I'm gonna have them Wednesday and Thursday. So, yeah, that's it. Hey guys, uh, quick intro. Today I'm playing a set, at least one set. We'll see how fast I beat him in this set and how much we're going to play. But for sure, we're gonna play a set. Um, and Bart. Well, I'm just gonna make a regret trying to go pro again. That's my goal. Wow. Really? Yes. That's your goal? Yeah, absolutely. I didn't know that. I thought you were supporting me in this. Absolutely. So if you beat me, then you go all the way. Okay, can you introduce yourself? Well, How old are you? Bart. I'm 20 years old. I've been working for Emma for a few months now, teaching the little kids here at the Palm Beach Polo Club. And today I have the opportunity to beat my boss. <laughs> So What's your looking UTI? forward to it. What's your UTI? I don't know, roughly about a 12. 12? Yeah, roughly. It's not what it used to be anymore, but it's there. Oh, well, let's see. <laughs> that set against Bart was... God, it was so frustrating. So freaking frustrating. Uh, I lost six to one. It was so hard to play against him. Really hard. I couldn't like figure out what to do and I was just, I, I just couldn't figure it out. I feel like I have so much work to do. Uh, and I'm exhausted, I'm tired and rethinking this whole tour thing. No, I'm kidding, I'm not. <sighs> I just wanted you guys to see my the Sergio that I talk about all the time. Bye guys, have a good day. Bye, you too. So today was a little Oh, it was a rough day. A rough day, I'm not going to lie. I came and my mindset wasn't right. I don't know why. I really don't. Like, I felt like at the beginning, bye. I had to, I don't know, I was tense. I was not patient. I was, I don't know, um, just at the beginning of the practice, immediately I started asking him to do something different and like oh I need to work on this I need to work on that and and he's like okay I might like calm down you know you have a long way to go 
I feel like I'm kind of like losing patience a little bit, which is normal because I want things to go faster. But it was a good conversation that we had to kind of bring things to perspective and like why I'm doing this, you know, because I love this and to enjoy the process, but you know, some days are gonna be harder than the others and I have to be okay with these hard days. So basically, I mean, we had a good talk, we had a good conversation and then the well, we even practiced a little bit on open stance back in because my arm feels very tired. He thinks I'm overdoing things. So we're gonna take a day off tomorrow. Um, my arm feels really tired and just, yeah, everything from my wrist to my shoulder. And so I need to slow down a little bit. Um, I have a phone call, I have a Zoom call with like in love, like right now in, in a minute. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna record myself about something else that happened and I really want to share. <laughs> record myself earlier because I had that meeting that went too long and then I had to go to P to Pilates lesson which went amazing I'm really really thankful for my Pilates instructor Dawn is her name because she does her research on everything she does a really really good job on like oh my god just with everything honestly like she's been doing research on my on you know how tennis athletes should be training and um the stretches i should be doing and i mean it's been it's been honestly awesome um i go there once a week I want to like maybe try and go maybe two times a week. I'll try to find time to go two times a week. I think it'll be, it'll be very good. I'm really like tired. It's like hitting me. And I agreed with my coach today that we're gonna take a day off tomorrow instead of taking a day off on Friday. So last night after a long day that I had and I worked so much, I worked out, I did tennis, I did a million things, right? I went, uh, and then I went for dinner with a friend um, that I haven't seen in a while. And I posted a story. I had one, one drink, April Spritz. Very light, amazing, love it. Um, and I feel like I need to have like, a drink or two like weekly just to relax because as a person I'm very tense and I put a lot of pressure on myself so like having one drink here and there sometimes it's it's fine right at least that's why I think thought so but uh, I posted it and one of uh, one of the one of good friends of mine I mean, he, he responded to me saying like how I need to really focus and lock it in, how basically it's really bad what I'm doing and I shouldn't be drinking any alcohol. And then kind of like, I don't, I don't know. It put me kind of like, okay, is he right? Is he not right? Oh my God, maybe he's right, you know? But then I spoke to my coach today and we both kind of like agreed on, okay, it's fine. You know, like I needed to relax and and I know my body and everything. So anyways, the bottom line is that I will still be doing it as long as it doesn't hurt me too much. I spoke to my nutritionist as well and she's like, oh, yeah, I won't drink because I'm going to do anything. But I just let all of these things get in my head and I shouldn't and yeah, that's it basically. That's the story, nothing, nothing too interesting. I'm gonna pick up my kids. No, I'm gonna make some eggs actually. I think two or maybe three, maybe three. 
And then I have to get my kids from school. Take my little one to swimming lesson today. He is swimming on Wednesdays, Mondays and Wednesdays. And then I'll take them to the club with me. He's not even watching my vlogs. And because you guys don't see how he treats me during the sessions. I treat him very yeah, nicely. Take this out, isn't she? <laughs> no, I'm not. Everything is real. You know, I treat him very nicely. Um, I get it's around. it's nine, I almost out. nine p.m. and he's just complaining how nine because of me I didn't cook yet. he didn't, didn't eat. He's out. not gonna watch TV. He's gaining weight. Her, her muscles looking great now. She's looking amazing, guys. Look. I also gained weight. Muscle weighs more than fat. It's gonna fluctuate up and down a little bit. Hmm. I don't like them gaining weight. I mean, but there's other calories that be going to people's bodies sometimes that puts weight on them. <laughs> but we're gonna keep that off the camera for now. Okay, so so I'm getting the treatment on my ankle. Oh my god, it's been it's like I feel like it can get to break last few weeks. It's like pull a quad, my shoulder, now ankle. But it's okay, like Thankfully, it's nothing like bad or serious. It just like freaking hurts a lot. Um, and um, I'm taking a day off just to just to rest and give my body a little break because last three days I really pushed it. Also, my kid is sick, so I didn't really sleep last night. So my recovering process and my recovery is not really good right now and probably that's why everything what's happening it, it, it's yeah it's just a mess but um i hope i can be better by saturday so i can play in this tournament but i'll see how my body feels i'm not gonna push it it's not like i really have to play it because i'll rather yeah i want to be at least like 70 80 percent I, I don't think I will, I will ever be 100 percent do you think I'll ever be 100 percent as a professional athlete like body wise of course <laughs> what what do you mean like I will never have like I will nothing's gonna hurt like one day I'm gonna be like oh, okay nothing hurts I feel 100 percent yes Really hard to believe. <laughs> Probably yes, one day, and then I'll play a match, and then tomorrow morning something's gonna be like hurting. Or I don't know, maybe I'm just like used to it. Like before when I used to play, I'm, I'm something was hurting always. So maybe I, I just, if I take care of my body a little bit better, whatever that means, maybe I will be pain free one day, which would be really nice because this, it's not fun. Oh my goodness. Also, if you're in Wellington area, you need to come and see these guys. USA Sports Medicine. They're in Wellington. Oh my goodness. But they're going to torture you. So. <laughs> recorded all day because it's my day off active day off because i just finished the workout i'm eating this everything but the bagel almonds and cashews and it's so freaking good it's from trader joe's so good i feel like i'm gonna eat the whole bag also um today i got an advice of how to perform at my best the advice was to have <laughs> six beers a day and to cut out carbs. I really don't like beers, but I'm gonna go and try one today. Maybe just to feel better and to relax a little bit, but I highly doubt I'm gonna like any beer. So yeah, I'm gonna go and try six beers. Um, God, this is so freaking good. On a walk with the boys. It's such a beautiful evening. Oh my God, I love this breeze. During the day, it was so hot i'm waiting still to hear, hear from sergio and trying to decide what to do this weekend but i don't think i will play this is where i've lived for the last seven eight years 
And now moving on to a new chapter, which I don't know where it's going to be. Okay, I don't think I post enough of this real, real stuff. Um, I feel like since I woke up this morning, I've been cleaning. And it's still not clean. And it's constant, every mom would understand, I guess. Um, so much to do always. Guys, down, down, come. And then I found them here. Jump, go. Yay. Jump, jump, jump. Yes. Okay, be careful, okay? I woke up this morning and my ankle hurts. I'm so annoyed with this, honestly, like with, with these pains. And I really apologize about my hair. It's really bad, but it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so I don't know, I'm gonna go and, and play this morning and see how I feel. And then um, go from there. Um, in the morning, I like to listen to music, Bosnian music, as you can hear in the background, Bosnian, Serbian, anything, Balkan, and this is Dino Merlin, Dino Merlin, I really, really like him a lot, uh, especially in the morning. Also, I love Branch Basics. Uh, there's, it's plant and mineral based, no toxins, no Mommy. nothing. So it's, Mommy. it's been great. Mommy. Yes. Papa, oh yes. Okay. I'm gonna go drop off the kids in daycare, and then go train. And then I have physical therapy where Mark. Mark, Dr. Mark Blank, he will tell me if, if I should play tomorrow or I should rest. So that's going to be the ultimate decision of me deciding if I'm playing tomorrow or not. Okay, see you later. Okay, so you're saying that I should go from doing hour and a half fitness to 30 minutes fitness? Yes, because I think your body right now can't handle it. And I feel like you need to do it progressive. But the thing is like, I can't, I feel like doing it progressive now when I'm already into like... What is your body telling you? Well, my... Your body is telling you that uh, right the now... The rest of my body is okay. My ankle is breaking now. <laughs> ankle is part of your body as far as I know. <laughs> so I think the ankle is talking. Uh, the last week was your quad talking. Is it because Sorry. I'm old? Because you are not ready, it's not uh, about age. I feel like... So it, I just started too too much? I think you started too much. So it's, I think you need to play it a little bit more smart. But I, I just told you earlier, I feel like with today's practice, I feel like I just took 10 steps. No. Test, but you know like when something hurts and you can't like fully I cannot get in the position and then I'm like, I try and then it's like. It's not 10 steps, but maybe it's an, one step back for you to see how to do the next steps forward. It's not 10, like you had a good Monday, good Tuesday. And then I think over there, your body was talking. So sometimes you need to listen to your body a little bit more and then go, go with that. Your body keep gonna keep talking. You start maybe with 30, and eventually in one week you start with 40 and you say I'm, I'm fine and you push through the week like this so the goal is the goal is to finish the week without a pain one once <laughs> and to feel like you're gonna be able to survive yeah yeah the, yeah. the point is not to finish the week hey, I arrived there I have one leg less <laughs> my arm is falling but I finished no that's not the point uh, yeah yeah and, and the point is, is is to come to these practices fresh cool not fresh because not fresh yeah but being able to push through it yeah. not being able to say i can't i can't that's the point 
the pony is okay maybe i'm a little bit sore but yeah, i can keep going okay. something yeah. that is like yeah but it's like two weeks in a row last week almost a full week i took up a full week i took up because of the quad and that one is and hard. then we started good and it's good that Monday it's and Tuesday was really good. But it's good that it's like nothing, you know, serious. It's a small strain, but it's enough that if I push, it's like. Shh. But the small, the small, the small, the small become week. long. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, Gracie. So, Grace, introduce yourself, please. Hi, I'm Gracie. I'm 17 and I'm a tennis player at UCF. Okay. I'm on the women's tennis team. You just finished your freshman year then? Yes, I did. And how did you do? I did pretty good. Um, this semester we made it to the conference and it was a really good uh, effort on my team's account. Nice. Okay. Um, but I remember my freshman year when I just went to college, it was a big adjustment. Yeah. It, it, it was a lot for us. Yeah. Year. So I'm sure it was a lot for you too. So yeah. just so you know, it gets better every year. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So tell me what's your advice for my injuries? For the injuries, honestly, like a couple of days off is better than like weeks or months. You know, I had some wrist injuries and some hip stuff where I'd be like, okay, I'll play. And then um, I made it to the quarters of Easter Bowl and I got uh, the third in doubles. And then I had to take three months off after that. Yeah. Same thing with nationals. Yeah. So I, I've been more cautious and I think that has kind of increased my longevity with nice. my body. And yeah. Just being like really in tune with what I'm feeling. No, that's good. That's really smart. I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen. <laughs> I always, promise. Always listen to your body. <laughs> yes, that's the, that's the lesson of the day. Listen to your body and don't push it and don't be crazy, <laughs> like me and just freaking push yourself until you're dying. Okay. Thanks, Grace. Bye. Bye. Okay. So this is Brittany, my Vlogging friend. One hundred and one. <laughs> I'm here for Is there another thing you want to say? Um, I would just like to say thank you to my tennis coach, Emma, for everything that she's done to help me. What did I do exactly <laughs> Well, she pretty much scared me off the tennis court. So. <laughs> yes. so she's not playing anymore, but we're still friends. This is what I do. I just get people into playing tennis, and then... We go to lunch. And then and we go to lunch. And ladies do lunch. Ladies to lunch, yes. So we're lunching at Whole Foods. What do we have for lunch? Sushi. Sushi and poke ball. Because I was too lazy to pick out in the section. Yeah, the buffet. And you see, I'm doing this strategically because she hasn't been watching my vlogs. So I'm doing this strategically because she will be in this episode. I'm going to be like, you have to watch this one. I had one of my, um, one of my students make me coffee today. <laughs> it's really good with, um, with cow's milk. I don't drink almond milk and oat milk anymore because it's not good for you. This is Haley. Hello. Um, <laughs> we played today and we won God, I'm so bad. one game, right? Yeah. We won one. We almost lost, or we almost won the other, the other one. one. Yeah. Haley really needs to work on her technique. <laughs> Did you ever have a lesson or no? No, I need. You to. never had a lesson. No, not since I was really young. Yeah. yeah I yeah. think I think and Haley cleans up her game like just cleans up her technique a little bit i think she can be very dangerous on the court yeah. so Haley, next week either me or jose whoever you want can give you a lesson whoever's free yeah no you were supposed to say you emma of course you, emma. <laughs> so monday wednesday friday we have kids group and now it's friday 4 p.m coach jose is running a warm-up right where are we going up there right foot <laughs> um we have green ball and orange ball this is vincent vincent how old are you seven seconds seven Five you seconds. what ball you play orange or green orange but you're moving on to the green jake how old are you six you play with orange right alex how old are you Eight, I'm in, in green, dot. green dot gabby how old are you Nine. and you are green, green. Augustus, how old are you? I'm, I'm in green. Green. Uh, Cipriano and Domenico, how old are you guys? I'm seven. Seven and? Four. Did you say four? Yes, four. Wow, Cipriano and uh, Domenico. Together. Luca, how old are you? Five. 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 Not in the middle. Not in the middle. Guys, do you like practicing with Coach Jose? 
Who's your favorite coach? If you say coach Emma, if you say coach Emma, you're running three laps. <laughs> if you say if, coach Renee, coach Emma, coach Renee. Who's saying coach Emma? Yeah, coach Renee for games, Coach Emma for drills, and him for work. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> My day has been a little crazy, to say the least. And I've been like running from one place to another. I'm really happy I took a shower. My hair is a mess, so I didn't have time to dry it, but it's okay. And I had so much going on, I didn't have time to go home to get stuff. So, but I'm going for, going out, not out. Yeah, the friends. But I don't have shoes. Here, look, I'm wearing this. Thank God I had shorts and this. But then I have these. So we need, we're trying to find shoes for me. Can you help me? Sizes, okay. Nine Sizes. and a half. Let's look at nine and a half. Right. Yeah, we're at Target. Maybe I should do just do sneakers. Like nice sneakers. They're not nice sneakers though. They're, They're really not nice. What if I change an outfit? Let's let's look first. Maybe I'll find like something. Or this is no, it's not bad. Thank you. So we just got these. Oh my <laughs> god! I'm not wearing my tan line is real. Ah, uh, there were sneakers on the other side. I literally can't wear this. Sneakers. The other day, did I tell you about this? The other day, I went out with a friend for dinner, and I posted a story. A boomerang of me drinking Aperol Spritz, right? And then this one guy comments and tells me like a big, he's like, am I really support you and what you're doing? I support your story, but you know you have to be disciplined. You know you have to give your 100% into this. That means little to no drinking, little to no partying, meditation, recovery, you know, practices and blah, blah, blah. I was like, you know. But then, at the same time, then I spoke to my coach the next day and we both agreed on that I also need to have an outlet. If this makes me happy, if I have yeah, a drink or two here yeah. and there, it's not going to kill me. And you're not oh, so what do you think? What do you think about it? <laughs> Girls. So I think that it's, I think he's right. Who's right? Your coach. Oh, my coach. No, okay. not the guy. The coach. It's all about the balance. What do you think? You have to have a balance. Absolutely. What do you think? I don't go crazy. At least sometimes. Exactly. I mean, punish yourself. Exactly. Because I feel like then I will be deprived. And I'll be like, and that's gonna kill me even more. So, anyways. So, I'm drinking a margarita. Cheers, girls. Cheers. <laughs> I don't like. I have a lot of friends who are professional tennis players. They play for NFL and NBA. A couple at a job. They all drink and do drugs. They lose it up. For moderation, you can do anything and everything. Amen. And there are plenty of tennis players out there who actually smoke before their matches. Yes. So really? how do you get yes. And before. Like, not I'm talking about a match, but I'm talking about like, like what? During preseason, you know, it's perfectly fine. Like what? Like, what do they drink? Up smoke. Cigarettes. Oh. I know. Yeah. They smoke weed. Oh. They smoke weed. <laughs> but is that like? And I know that... tennis players who just they want to relax, and these are pro tennis players. Right. So having one drink now and then, it's not gonna really like. Stop your training. No, it's be fine. Okay, so we are. Baca frita. What is it? Baca frita. Baca frita. So what is baca frita? It's a really nice piece of steak. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Where are you from? Yuca. Yuca. Okay. Is that what it? It's that? a little bit of gar yuca and garlic. Okay. And then you get rice, black beans, of course, yes. and platanitos. Good. So this is very good Cuban food. Yes, and right? this is for your diet. Okay, good morning everyone. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. David practices every Sunday morning, right? Yes. David, what do you like the most about tennis? Uh, it's, it's because the 
uh, the forehands and the backhands are actually really fun to hit when when you when you feel like they're like perfect. Yes. Good. Do you play any other sports or just tennis? I just play tennis. Just tennis. And do you have any goals with tennis? Uh, my first goal is to like try to hit all serves perfectly. All serves perfectly? Yeah. That's your goal for today. Okay. Yeah, how many we have to get there? You get ten. 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 Okay. Let's see. Give me one good one. Go. Here and remember to accelerate. Wait, 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 wait. Your elbow has to be a little more this way. And now go. <laughs> you got this. Ah, oh, the toss. Was the toss good? No. No. Let's go again. Wait. Turn more. Yes, and turn. Good. You don't have to, yeah, relax your head. Good. Go. Oh, that was great, right? Yep. That was a good one. Go again. This is going to be the last video for this episode. My friend gave me this dress today, and it's so cute when I was at her house because well, it's also Mother's Day today, so happy Mother's Day. <laughs> To all the mothers out there even if this is gonna be played a week after this but anyways um what an eventful day what a great day um very some really really good conversations um with with some of my friends today but especially the last one my friend anna and i had dinner and she just I don't know, she was amazing. She gave me a lot of great advice. She's older than me, she has more experience and and it's been really it's been really awesome, honestly. Um, she told me, you know, because I've been going through a lot, what, you know, she gave me advice on what I need to focus right now, how I need to keep my eye on the ball. It honestly hasn't been easy at all. I've been like living and acting like everything is okay, but it's really hard to do so. You know, I've been going through so much that now it's like, like it hit, it hit me. Like, oh my God, all of this is happening. So what I need to do these days, it's like take a lot of time to like kind of pause and re reflect and be like, okay, why am I doing this? Why is this good for me? why is this whatever i'm doing you know and stuff because i feel like i've been just going 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 like a little mouse instead of like pausing being like okay why what and processing things i haven't had time really to process anything what's been happening because it's it's been a lot it's really been a lot so so yeah i'm gonna take time for that i took time today as well just clearing my head out and going from there I think that's really important especially for somebody that's constantly on the go so yeah good week I'm gonna see tomorrow morning how my foot feels if I'm gonna train or not but I'm not gonna rush if it hurts I'm gonna slow down and not really do much but I will keep you posted happy Sunday and this is the end of episode god no this is episode five. Good things are coming. Sending positive vibes to the universe. Attracting the right things. Attracting the right people. I'm all about that.